it is uh, this, like, these stretches that I'm going to show you um, are target uh, they target your hip flexors um, they will help to stretch those out um, make the muscles a little longer so that your hips don't rotate so far forward and it relieves pressure on your back so the first one just go into a kneeling position and you won't really feel the stretch if you just if you just kneel so you kind of have to help it and just try to rotate your hips backwards you can do that by tightening up your abs which pulls the front of your hips forward it kind of feels like you're pulling your belly button back towards your diaphragm then you can also <coughs> tighten your glutes in the back to pull the back of your hip down you can see when I do that well hopefully you can see then my hip shifts back um, so tighten those muscles until you feel it tight through here um, and uh, hold it for like 30 seconds or so you can add to the stretch by moving a little bit forward like this so that this knee goes a little bit back you can also pull with, forward with this heel that also gives you some leverage to, to rotate that hip back. After 30 seconds or so, then just switch and repeat um, on the other side. It will probably not feel uh, the same. One uh, hip flexor is probably stronger and or tighter than the other, um, but uh, stretch them both. Uh, so that's exercise, or that's stretch number one. Stretch number two is actually very similar, um, but does not require you to actively um, tighten muscles in order to cause the stretch to happen. So from your kneeling position, put one foot out in front, and then lean forward so that you're kind of doing a split. Uh, the, the more upright your torso is, the more that will stretch. This one you'll notice is gonna stretch more on the inside of your thigh. Um, and the, the hip flexor does go uh, into the groin area. And so this is a good uh, one to add to that. Now, one disadvantage to this one is with your torso more upright, it does increase the stretch, but it also can um, cause your low back to arch. And if that is causing you problems, then just lean forward a little bit until the uh, um, until you loosen things up. And like the other one, do it for uh, 30 <coughs> seconds or so, and then switch and uh, stretch the other side. Okay, now the final stretch that I'm going to teach you at this time, um, it's helpful to touch a wall or a doorway or something. Just grab your foot and pull it up. And then uh, you should feel a pretty good stretch through the thigh area. Uh, the amount of stretch is dependent on how far back your knee goes. The further back your knee goes, the more it stretches. Also, um, your torso. If you lean, if you lean forward a little bit, it won't stretch very much. If you uh, nice, if you're if you stand up nice, tall and straight, shoulders back, hips back so that your uh, back is straight, you'll feel that that stretches. Um, 
the hip flexors quite a, quite a bit. All right, the other ones, do both sides um, for about 30 seconds each time. I have found that when my, when my hips are tight and it's causing me back pain, if I do these stretches, then it'll relieve some of that pain. And it might last 20, 30 minutes. It might last an hour or two. Um, it depends. But if I do it every couple of hours during the day, generally after a day or two, then the, uh, the pain stops coming back. Um, well, until they get tight again. But uh, it's something that that you can't just do once and, and have the pain go away. But if you keep doing it several times during the day, it should help quite a bit, provided that the source of your pain is the same as mine. And I will make some other videos um, at another time with some additional stretches or exercises, uh, depending on uh, how, this, how much this has helped you. And that's it.